so okay till that uh, time should we start with dhyan so that by that time principals uh, join uh, yeah, let's yeah. start with dhyan let's good idea close yes. your eyes let's take a deep breath keep your hands over the knees passive breath in passive breath out deep breath in deep breath out let's concentrate our complete mind at adnya chakra which is just 2 inches at the back side of forehead feel your breath take a deep breath gentle smile on the face breathe in slowly breathe out let's take this opportunity to know ourselves many a times hours together of dhyan may not know much about ourselves but a fraction of second can help us to know about ourselves slowly breathe in slowly breathe out relax right from our toes to our ankles calf muscles knees and thighs abdomen and trunk relax them relax our backbone relax our complete trunk neck our face pass you breathe in pass you breathe out zero is ourselves so that next one hour it will be most informative life changing one hour 60 minutes for all of us feel yourself calm quiet without any tension i'm sure all students might have already done with their papers they are relaxed slowly move your fingers on your knees rub your palms together rub them on the face rub them on the ears neck observe the difference of temperature between your fingertips and your face slowly with a very positive signal for next 
60 minutes open your eyes I'm sure this last two to three minutes might have given you lots and lots of calmness quiet and peaceful so we got a chance for a couple of minutes to do this meditation and if we get more time we can even more proceed for more yogas it's all yours professor bakle yes and sir professor deshpande so should we start yeah please pratiksha please proceed yes ma'am good morning uh, everyone thank you for joining for joining uh, us uh, for today's webinar uh, in this per virtual platform myself uh, kavita mishra on behalf of arogya parigyan club of priyadarshini jail college of pharmacy uh, sponsored by aicte firstly i warmly welcome our honorable principal sir dr dr shapley sir our uh, today's speaker Uh, Mr. Rakhve, Rakhvendra Patel, sir, our coordinators of Arogya Parigyan Club, Ms. Dr. Mrs. S. S. Bakhle, ma'am, and Mr. S. K. Shah, sir, and to all the teachers and students present here, it's a privilege to have you all with us. So, as we are here for the webinar, as our topic for webinar is yoga. Yoga for excelling in uh, professional career. So let's discuss a bit about yoga. Uh, so what is yoga? Yoga, yoga is uh, beneficial for us, and uh, it uh, it not only improves physical health but also looks after me mental well-being by calming the mind, propelling us uh, to excel our personal and professional undertakings. so let's know and gain knowledge about this and uh, let's begin uh, by uh, by the honorable speaker that is uh, mr raghavendra patel sir now i request dr mrs uh, shilpa uh, deshpande ma'am for introducing our today's speaker thank you kavita <coughs> good morning everyone Am I audible properly? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, our today speaker, Dr. Raghavendra Patel. I am very fortunate to get this opportunity to introduce him, uh, my senior good friend uh, during my college days. Uh, Dr. Raghavendra Patel. Uh, he has done uh, his Bachelor of Pharmacy from UDPS Nagpur. He is a registered pharmacist of India. then he has done his master of technology in biochemical engineering from phu phd in weight loss from tejpur university md alternative medicine and diploma in project management in pharmaceuticals from pune he is official yoga teacher and evaluator under ministry of ayush government of india he is a executive coach for wellbeing he is working as practice head of product in various indian it industries he has 23 years of experience in software industry he has worked as developer functional consultation automation project manager and practice head he has given coaching to more than 500 health aspirants on weight loss bp diabetes thyroid disorders anxiety depression psychosomatics and digestive diseases He has authored a book named Dietitude. He has a YouTube channel uh, 
uh, for yoga diet and attitude named as dietitude he has published water as medicine air as medicine dietitude page on facebook he has conducted various workshops on fat to fit stress management laughter yoga yoga for kids with fun and joy physiology of yoga biochemistry of yoga yoga about 60 years and session for cancer prevention uh, we are very fortunate to have dr raghavendra patil as today's speaker i request him to proceed for the session thank, thank you, you so much thank you so much after hearing this i have to see the water hmm. whether those things are also told which are not known to me about myself so uh, just one small correction i am doing my phd currently i am not a doctor yet, but uh, of course after md people say that i am a doctor uh, but i will become a doctor after my phd on weight loss but uh, i would like to be definitely called as a pharmacist uh, because i have very high respect for pharmacy the, the reason is uh, very simple uh so before that going to that reason i would like to thank uh, uh dr chaple sir and uh, even uh professor bakhle and professor deshpande as well as the whole council to give me this chance the subject which is very uh, very near to my heart that i am going to speak about it there is no ppt there is no there are no points but i am sure that my own experiences i am going to contribute because the subject is very near to me i lived this subject during my graduation post graduation and all those academic things which i have done along with that what its utilization in practicality so very importantly i respect pharmacy because of let me know sorry sir before we proceed I mean, I'm just interrupting you. Uh, so our principal sir would like to address also. Sure, sure. And yeah, then we can uh, proceed. Sure, sure. And that will add to just, it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, just uh, excuse me for Definitely. this. Definitely. Please, please, sir. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, madam. Good uh, morning, to everyone. Sir, sir, sir. Patil. Biomedical, uh, biochemical engineer, yoga teacher, and evaluator. coordinator of the ejs cp aarogya parigyan club dr mrs akle co coordinator mr s k shah silpat pandit and other faculty members and the other student club members it's my privilege to welcome mr raghavendra patil as a speaker for the webinar on yoga for excelling in the professional career as you all aware that government of india is celebrating its uh, azadi ka amrut mahotsav and globally eighth international yoga day on 21st june of every year since uh, 2015 the theme of the celebration of the 8th edition of the international yoga for humanity the yoga means uh, union and on is also the our uh, statutory body is that like all india council of technical education ugc and our university has also organized a series of yoga sessions from last one week or several events college also organized today's webinar also several programs on the occasion of the international yoga day yoga means a union that is a yoga for humanity through our global yoga led by donation of yoga yoga workshop classes and events we inspire the people sir this topic is yoga for excel in professional career so i know that the yoga boosts the self confidence yoga teaches the self discipline and yoga reduces the stress without taking uh, much more time once again i welcome you all for this webinar thank you thank you very much
Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, it was uh, words of wisdom, uh, Principal Sir. Uh, really, yeah. uh, and I got two <laughs> things out of it. Uh, really, and that was very much important that these two things are to be there. First thing which I got, uh, yoga is actually union, and this answered the question which I had several years in my mind: Why we learn pinacol, pinacol, and rearrangement reaction? why we learn aldol uh, condensation reaction why we learn so much of big morrison and boyd the reason is ultimately that those are used throughout their your life for your biochemistry and for medicinal chemistry and synthesis it's a union it's a union of academics with your profession and without excellence in academics profession cannot be done very well so yog is union the third parameter which is actually yog in this particularly from uh, academics to profession is actually got a uh, scars in last couple of years and a decade and also almost 5000 years ago it was there over the period of time it got really diminish and nobody thought that this is actually a vitality of life which is actually a main important point of life and that's why i thought that this should be done probably i would have got this particularly say 35 years back the definitely the picture would have been better and better but everything happens for the best betterment uh, the best i would have probably much more efficient than today i am but of course there i durust hai i got it at right time and definitely if i could contribute even one sentence to your life today i am done with that that is my aim of life that we have we have done everything except that contribution to our life which is also taught by you so also a definition of you uh, uh, which was uh, given in our academics in our profession in our society you know everything is different right and today we are thinking how yoga can be useful for particularly for the excellence in profession your career and my dear friends here we have to actually join both of them in such a way how do we join the answer lies here the pharmacy the pharmacy is a interdisciplinary course already see what we learn in pharmacy is right from biochemistry right from pharmaceutical engineering right from uh, what you can say biophysics to we can learn we learn generally uh, pharmacology physiology anatomy and what subject almost every part of every branch of science generally we connect so as a result of it we have complete interdisciplinary setup of our mind the only problem is that that interdisciplinary setup we just wipe off we just say throw away by saying pharmacy kya hai yaar pata nahi aage kya scope hai boss the course like pharmacy can develop right from software engineer to even the drug controller of india and you know that it is a very powerful course believe me such kind of course is not there there may be courses like engineering where there is complete mathematics applied mathematics and physics in pharmacy you will find chemistry is there biology is there physics is there interdisciplinary is there everything is mixed in pharmacy as a result of it the pharmacist is logical as well as the pharmacist is also emotional the pharmacist has more and more social aspect the pharmacist has more and more cookery aspect also so you know a pharmacist is always a good cook so you should respect this course more and more that is first thing i would like to say pharmacy is a exceptional course and 
I'm, I, I, I take this privilege that I am a registered pharmacist of India. So many of the things in yoga which people cannot explain that if you go to a core of it, core of pharmacy, you will be able to explain. I'll, I'll uh, give you one small example. You might have, you might have learned in your second year biochemistry, embed and merop pathway. I don't know how many of you remember. It is very close to my heart, embed and merop pathway, which is actually a anaerobic uh, degradation of glucose into pyruvate, right? So glucose with six uh, six carbon atom uh, get to the three carbon atoms pyruvate form pyruvate that is acetyl CoA and acetyl CoA in tricarboxylic acid cycle enters into a oxidation reaction and result into a formation of carbon dioxide and water. So simple pathway. It is learnt in biochemistry pharmacy only. Most of the doctor they will forget about it. If you couple this with yoga, whenever you do pranayam, your anaerobic pathway is active much more. And whenever you do exercise, your aerobic pathway in mitochondria is active. Very simple, but very effective explanation. Only pharmacist can give this explanation. A person who knows physiology probably may not able to give. A person who knows only yoga may not able to give but person who is a pharmacist is a physiologist and who is yoga teacher can only give you have that chance yoga can be learned over the period of time it is not a one day uh, trip but pharmacy cannot be learned in one day i spent years together learning pharmacy you know Remington textbook, you know, still, still it is a book where if I try to find out some explanation I get in Remington. If I try to find out even a new drug, it get in Remington. I, I just come across one new drug, Montelu cast. I think it is used for the sneezing and uh, extra expectorant effect uh, should be stopped and sneezing should be stopped. And I found it is there. It's there in Remington. So beautiful book it has. Now the point here is from this point, how to go for excellent profession where the yoga comes. First of all, you should learn that your base is very strong. Being a pharmacist, you have a very strong base. And this on this base, you have to actually take yoga there. Now, you might have thought that the person who is coming here, something he has done in pharmacy, something he has done in biochemical, some yoga must have a very long beard and must have some tikka tukka and oh my god, here is a clean shaved person and sitting relaxed on in t-shirt. What is this? Who has brought? I don't know who has brought. The point here is, yoga is not like, it's just not an external thing. It's an internal thing. It's not externally like you have to display something. But definitely what you speak, what you learn or what you imbibe, inculcate, that you can actually get it only through yoga. Right? So yoga, if you see yoga, it has a ashtang. Mostly Patanjali has given yam, niyam, asan, pranayam, pratyahar, dharana, dhyan and samadhi. Okay, we don't have to go up to Samadhi. Okay, let's let's uh, stick to Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyahar. That's it. Okay, that itself is a, a whole life long. We can actually go for it and it will not be uh, suffice to give a time to it. So here you'll find that consider our trivial problem. Let's let's go to very root of our uh, routine. First problem. And let's address that problem. And you can also put your problem uh, in chat box and definitely I will address them. First problem is anxiety. And that anxiety hampers our career. You know, that particular anxiety, what I should do in life? First question, I'm a pharmacist. Some of my colleagues, some of my friends, they become uh, IT professional. You know, pharmacy has nothing to do. Boss, 
first of all we should have to have a direction that what what is my interest in life what i would like to achieve if i know that my interest then sky is the limit if my colleague or my friend has taken a job in maybe a it software company he has gone to us and settled down you ask him his life and you ask a pharmacist life is totally different pharmacist life is relaxed life because he doesn't have to do any deal with any changes every day every every minute it person has to do actually has to face lot and lot of changes right from technology right from business approach new terms new concepts new technology old wine in new bottle new wine in old bottle everything you will find that you are in soup no doubt about it i have chosen uh, it as my profession but i found that boss there is no other profession except wellness pharmacy and medical profession which is the one of the best profession and that too without using medicine i could say that because i i have gone through goodman and gilman so i could say that that is the way that we have to excel the point here is that what should i do in my life and how yoga can help it yog basically when you do yog first of all when you do yam niyam you'll find a restrictions on yourself you you will channelize your thinking you will calm down yourself whenever you try to do asanas you will find that you have put lot and lots of efforts in sweating as a result of it you will have a clean body clean skin clean stomach good digestive system naturally it will affect your decision making capability so your anxiety will go away so decision making capability is directly connected to yoga you will find that whenever you are touched upon by emotions your decisions are fluctuating or swaying here and there you are dwindling at that point of time you consider three things one thing is that you are at very ease and that's why your decisions are not getting confirmed why you are at very ease because you are sensitive second thing your body hormonal concentration is not proper and third thing you don't have that confidence to take a decision firm on it example if you would like to say go for a phd imme- immediately after your mfarm there are post graduate students you should not think of okay i have to do phd but in my phd whether i will get scol whether i will get placement afterwards it is your own choice nowadays people they are outside india they are accepting these choices as their own choice and people who are inside india they are thinking of that so we have to take care of this very simple if you want to take a correct decision don't do anything except you do every day 50 times anulom vilom how it manages to stabilize the nervous system is amazing we learned action potential we learn the fluxes of potassium and sodium inside and that generates a 92 millivolt of current and that conduct uh, across the axon and ag- across the neuron everything we learned the point we didn't learn is that how our yog connects with our body and there is a gap and this gap is slowly getting unbuckled it's slowly getting unleashed in our life nowadays they are saying that whenever you do anulom vilom you will find that the ida nali nadi which is actually on left side so it breathe in it actually stabilizes the temperature to a lower temperature of the body and the right side which is the surya nadi which actually uh increase the temperature of the body how it it increases the temperature is again a very black box we know very simple that okay we know the action of paracetamol or we know the action of nsaid and this action is very clear cut it increases the pain uh, threshold and like that the point here is 
इन योग इफ यू गो बाय एलोपैथिक अप्रोच इट इज वेरी लॉन्ग अप्रोच इट्स वेरी लॉन्ग सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू इफ यू से हाउ द ब्रेथ कैन अफेक्ट योर बॉडी यू विल से दैट नो ब्रेथ के नॉट अफेक्ट एक्सेप्ट दैट इट गिवज ऑक्सीजन एंड ऑक्सीजन इज एक्सचेंज इन द ब्लड द पॉइंट इज ब्रेथ अफेक्ट ब्रेन द पॉइंट इज ब्रेथ अफेक्ट हार्ट द पॉइंट इज ब्रेथ ऑल्सो अफेक्ट किडनी द कपाल वाती अफेक्ट्स किडनी बिकॉज देर इज अ जर्क इन योर थमी एंड किडनी इट सीक्रेट्स एरिथ्रोपोइटिन विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इम्यूनिटी एंड द इम्यूनिटी थ्रू आवर बोन मैरो where there is a proliferation or generation of your uh, uh, the blood cells so ultimately it, uh, the leukocytes which are generated those are responsible for immunity and hence kapalvati affects immunity my god so big explanation see if we if we go into physiology of yog or pharmacology of yog probably we will miss the train we should go for the effects of it so if you perform yog every day yog it not only means asana it means yam niyam asan pranayam pratyahar at least up to this it becomes very good consider for example our profession which is based on our academic excellence we are performing up to certain extent in our academics the reason is very simple our academics based on recalling capacity how much we can recall in our exam is based on that i'm sure if you perform sarvangasan setu bandhasan shirshasan halasan and try to eat some of the guava fruit and fruits you will automatically recall everything there is no need to read it reread it very simple our academic excellence is there our career excellence is there very simple things but 99% of people they are not able to do shirshasan 90% of people they are not able to do halasan because we 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 do gymnasium we are more towards gymnasium what happened in gymnasium we go there are five people are there they are looking towards us some very thin hands and then they will smile and then there will be motivation there will be rivalry ultimately we end up in lifting a weight more 10 kg more and as a result of it there will be definitely a breaking of our actin myosin complex of muscles there will be ache next day will say no yaar is very much aching but still we will have a impulse impulse is generated rivalry is generated not calmness not quietness not relaxation ultimately it leads to impulsive person so many conflicts in the world they are just because of non management or mal handling of impulses the impulse should not be generated it should not be reaction there no reaction is required from our side it should be respond what we learned in yoga is patience patience is the key thing what we learned in yoga and in your academic as well as in your profession if the patience is not there you will be lagging behind heavily you will be at long you will find that you are conflicting with people for your professional experience to bring it to table and to flourish it a very important point is be with patient approach in your profession and that's the same thing which is used how to increase patience very simple every day try to do tratak and you will get n number of ways to manage your patients tratak is the best thing you can do for patients pranayam if you are feeling very much warm in uh, say summer season try to do shitali 
शीतकारी इफ यू आर इन विंटर डू सूर्य वेदन प्राणायाम डू भस्त्रिका भस्त्रिका प्राणायाम द बेस्ट वे इफ अ पर्सन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इज एंग्री यू कैन ट्राई फॉर शीतली शीतकारी प्राणायाम वेरी इजीली नथिंग इट्स इट्स नॉट अ वेरी हेवी मेडिसिन इट्स अ सिंपल मेडिसिन राइट शीतली एंड शीतकारी यू कैन डू फॉर दैट वेन एवर यू आर नॉट एबल टू मेक अ डिसीजन गो फॉर अनुलोम विलोम प्राणायाम वेरी सिंपल राइट सो पेशेंस इज द की थिंग रिमेंबर इफ वी वुड लाइक टू कीप अवर बॉडी वेल and that is required for every profession a person who is actually coming for a interview in the interview chamber after looking towards this person a person who is taking a interview can understand what this person is eating whether he is a foodie person whether he is a tamasic rajasic or he is a manasic what i can say okay or not satvik so manasik or emotional person you all know that in profession there is no place for emotion there are ethics which are followed but you cannot take your decisions on emotions how to stop your emotions so that you can take a correct decision is what is done by yoga so how how it is done there is a principle uh in yoga uh, which is given by patanjali yog sutra it says uh, that tato dwandva abhidyat that what does that mean when you have a dual mind yoga actually takes away the dual mind how it takes again it's a very big physiology to explain i have a series of videos for that where i explain each and every physiology so every every particular yog has a very deep physiology and i'm sure pharmacist can understand that also it is said by patanjali okay uh, vayu tat nirodha what does that mean the air in our body when we breathe in breathe out and if we control that we can control our thoughts so if we would like to control our thoughts we would like to control our mind the best thing is play with the air you inhale and air you exhale what is that that means do pranayam what is that means control breathing and control breath out it is definitely in a way that pranayam is uh, that the way in which you have to breathe in is say x minute x seconds you are breathing for x seconds you have to hold breath and 2x seconds you have to breathe out that is the way pranayam is done there are kumbhakas where you can do kumbhak and again have more and more a uh, uh, very crucial stoppage of your emotional blast number of thoughts thinking how many thoughts you have decide your wisdom very simple if the person can think on x number of ways and if other person can think think x plus delta x the x plus delta x thinker is better considered as the wisdom very simple the thoughts generation is something which is mindset or habit but at the same time my dear friends generation of thought still doesn't have established physiology but try to do a very good asanas keep yourself in meditation i'll i'll not say meditation meditation is a very very superficial word i cannot replace this meditation uh, dhyan with the meditation dhyan is very simple, very different thing dhyan is like you have a dharana of particular thing and then you are concentrating on that you are concentrating say today on this session with the benefits you will get throughout that is dhyan let's not dilute it with the word meditation sorry for that so if you do dhyan if you perform dhyan you will get a kind of wisdom that you can think 
in many different directions so thinking you know in profession who goes on top who climb the ladder a person who ask correct question at correct point of time is considered as a intelligent person whether that person does a work or not that is apart but a person will be considered as intelligent because he has a different thought there so thinking capacity increases with yoga nervous system get stabilized with yoga very important point most of us they will go probably try to go in r&d and they will with the test tube and uh, this uh, beaker and flask and distillation counters are there but you will ultimately have to sit for at least 6 to 10 hours a day my god your vertebral column will actually give it away i don't want to be there unless and until you give your vertebral column proper trikonasan proper chakrasan proper bhujangasan setu bandhasan and then parvatasan these are the asan which will keep your backbone very well well in shape you have enthusiastic body can you recruit if you have your industry can you recruit an employee who would like to have a backache every five day or who would like to have a digestive system not good pharmaceutical man pharmaceutical you cannot have even a pinch of any kuda garbage here and there you you all know when when the actually controller comes and audit the pharmacy controller will never look towards your machines he will never look towards your floor he will never look towards how the uh, press is working or your uh, the tablet press machine is working or capsule machine is working he will go simply go to the vent he'll say open the vent and he finds if there is a dust inside that vent or if there is a kuda or kachra or garbage in the in that that particular vent he'll say boss the license is cancelled thank you very much because he knows from where the organism appears inside so do you would like to would you like to be in front of an entrepreneur as a diseased person no first sharira madhyam khalu dharma sadhanam you know nowadays there is a fashion that ek night mar lenge the whole chemistry will be done no boss see there is a delta effect always what is this delta effect is nothing which is adorable which is accolade which has a accolade which has very important thing in our life very big achievements cannot be done in one day it needs years together years together and to sustain that we should have our mind and body in sync that is very important if our body and body and mind is not in sync and to to make that you need yoga unless and until there is a 20 drops of sweat and 20 minutes of dhyan these two things are there your body will not be kept itself wise healthy body will give its away and you will find those people who were actually with a lot of style doing sutta after 10 years and 20 years they will be keeping their hand on heart and say no no more sutta was this happens but of course those people who were just saying no was i i want to go by this way and they will find that they will be flourishing afterwards and that is where the yog yatha shakti nirantaram so yog tells us the consistency and that's why the consistency in profession for excellence is very important your hormonal balance is balanced by yog 
you know, we have we have so almost uh, hormones and consider the ions hormones vitamins their effect on each other there are 72 c 72 c 72 this kind of combinations are there so enormous combinations and we we study some out of them we study only okay thyroxine has an effect on blood pressure we say study only that insulin has an effect on uh, some uh, thyroxine we also study okay insulin has an effect on the um, insulin secreting hormone from the pituitary gland like that but we never study what is the effect of the emotions of insulin or we don't study what is the effect of a sudden jerk when we wake up what is the effect of just seeing your hands in early morning these are very small small things but we don't see that these are all actually taken care in yoga so the, it stabilizes it stabilizes your hormones so if you are against your circadian cycle if you are waking up at night studying at night oh, studying is a good thing i'm not against study not like that the point is studying against the circadian cycle is wrong thing the day is for keeping yourself awake and night is for sleep right early morning wake up is the best way to study best way to do best positive work i'm sure after nine o'clock whatever we do tv and mobile and this everything is crap everything is crap believe me just take this noted that we do scrap after nine unless and until you take a bath in the evening better to take a bath in the evening so that at least some productive work some positive work we can do in the evening so yoga gives a cleaning technique technique dhauti basti tatha neti naulikam tratakam tatha kapalavatischa etani shatkarmani samachare at least those people who have acidity and they want to continue their profession they should do dhauti at least once in a 10 days what is dhauti early morning you wake up don't do anything drink a lot of water put your two fingers inside and take it out all acid will go out basti is anima now if i say anima you yeah, yeah. basti ah i don't but anima anima is the thing where you will clean your gut Neti, thanks to COVID, who has given us a wisdom to do Neti. Otherwise, we were doing Neti from say a couple of decades, and people saying, "Boss, pata nahi kya naag mein pani dalta hai, din din ko usko useless." Neti is the one of the best cleaning technique because it affects our breathing. cleaning nose nasal cavity will affect our breathing and that will give you healthy because the even a small delta effect will be in multiplied by 21000 in a day we take 21000 breath this 21000 if they are a dearth of oxygen even by delta we will be in trouble this delta becomes very big infinite amount you integrate delta with respect to 24 hours and you will get a huge factor so this delta amount of oxygen breath in is very very important nauli nauli get famous by our baba ramdev and fortunately this nauli is now a days uh, people like it but its result is very good its result is completely on the digestive disorders reducing the tummy okay i'm sure when a person does yoga he will definitely have moderate eating okay it's not like that today is a pizza tomorrow is gulab jamun day after tomorrow is burger and then all sorts of bakery products so when you actually go for yoga you will find that you yourself think that you are actually a mitahari you are taking a less and less food and the food is absorbed more 
it's not like that you will get dearth of food the food will be absorbed more and more and that is a key thing the food should be absorbed utilized assimilated and that is given by yog so better your health is good your profession is good right so considering the other benefits your personality impression in your career is the key thing the first impression is not last impression i don't believe in this but over the period of time whatever impression you have the first parameter is body okay so if the if your body is not supporting your posture itself your confidence will be that day itself is a lagging sagging what is the use of such body sharir madhyam khalu dharma sadhanam so if your body spells success you will get the success your body spells smile you will get the smile in back in return your body actually determines the whole environment and aura around you and if i am sure you are performing tratak which is one of the shuddhi kriya also it it actually cleans our forehead cleans our eyes i am sure you will definitely have a huge confidence inside your complete brain mind and soul and as well as body will show that so for confidence definitely yoga is the answer for that right so profession is also based on confidence one more thing which i found you have been told by boss boss just get this done just now i want in next one hour uh, 50000 tablets to be created and to be pressed but you said already i am working on a capsule machine as well as i am also working on uh, there on the uh, the powder generation so i have a lot of things multitasking now in this case doing multitask accurately is very very important no doubt about it that our brain only can do multitasking not the computer computer has a round robin process they have threads but ultimately one particular cpu can perform one task only only thing is that delta task sub task of task a is performed then delta sub task of b is performed and this way it will perform so fast that we think that it is a it is multitasking it is not multitasking only human brain can perform multitasking what is the reason reason is very simple there are multiple synapses are there multiple path are there our path in through synapses and our uh, neurons if they are not conflicting we can do multitasking but again the synapse to develop it needs habits and this needs a consistent habits of thinking consistent habits of yoga so you will find that a uh, very simple example you are studying from morning since morning to 12 o'clock 12 o'clock there is a paper you have said cyclopentane over heterophenanthrene nucleus is a quasiterial quasiter equatorial quasi equatorial c3 is there cyclopentane over heterophenanthrene lot of mugging up you have done and ultimately when you go to exam you say what is that your cyclopentano you don't know you don't recall it on the contrary you go to cricket ground you just played three four balls somebody is bowling you with a tennis ball and you are playing a cricket ball and then you go to exam and you find that you can recall each and everything what you have actually read in the morning the reason is very simple you have actually done done a partial yog here because you have taken out your mind 
concentrate on other things saved your memory of morning and recalled it as it is you are not jumbled it in case of yoga when you control your breath your mind your thoughts are controlled they are calmed down and as a result of it you will find that you can recall everything the one of the one of the important thing in profession is to remember the people name not only in profession in politics in your academics in everything you remember you have to remember people name you have to remember associate name you have to remember the space place city everything and that creates actually a huge part of our memory if you want to increase it definitely asana and yoga is the only answer for your best professional career yoga is the only answer what i can say coming to the what are the stumbling blocks in our mind is our thinking if you see our thoughts are through particular templates which are built in childhood which are built during our academic during our profession and these thoughts we are not able to change how to change thoughts marutasya mano natha means the air is actually the king of our mind or indriyasya manonatha marut means vayu is a king of our man mind mind is a king of our organs our appendages sense organs so ultimately our mind our organs our appendages can be controlled sense organ can be controlled by marut no doubt there is a lie there is a nad and further it is said but yog says that you can control your air you are taking inside and you are control your definitely a sense organs you cannot reply immediately to your boss if your boss is at some a problematic situation in his professional career and he is angry you cannot respond respond back to your boss boss ye nahi hoga no you have to say yeah yeah let's see will will work out you learn this sentence with patience so how the person is if person is doing yoga he will definitely have a sound profession because of yoga and how the person looks like वपु कृषत्व वदने प्रसन्नता नाद स्फुट नयने सुनिर्मले अरोगता बिंदुजयोगीपन नाड़ी विशुद्धि हटयोग लक्षण द पर्सन हू दस योग ओके हि मे बी गूगल सी ओ मे बी इंफॉसि सी ओ एव्रीबडी दे एक्चुअली गो फॉर योग एव्री डे इंक्लूडिंग अमिता बच्चन इंक्लूडिंग मोदी अवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर so person have will have definitely strong and lean body cheerful face clear voice bright eyes freedom from illness under control your all urges and your fire inside is always always live and your body state will be completely clean that kind of approach you will have in your life you might have seen people they get disturbed whenever there is a imbroglio or difficult situation awkward situation in their profession they will immediately immediately even if you are in academics also you will find that people are very angry sometimes some students are very angry this anger how how it cannot be controlled how it cannot be controlled is known as there is a phenomena known as amygdala hijack where amygdala is actually structure which controls it uh, uh, inhibits your restricted action 
but if it is hijack then directly those actions will be performed and this amygdala is also hijack when somebody takes alcohol somebody is wake up from many days and not taking proper sleep also there will be amygdala hijack and this also connected with the impulse impulse management as a result of it you will lose your professional growth you may have a tough time in your office if you would like to have a patience and good career definitely you have to stop this this impulse you have to stop your you have to control your mind and that can be controlled through yoga so that's why the for the excellence in your career the control can be brought on your mind by yoga very importantly another thing the weather is cold sardi the weather is warm the person gets fed up dehydration my god all this dwandva because of weather change and then leave yogis they don't take leave because they don't take tension they are activity oriented not thinking thinking not writing a line of code not doing any activity just thinking no not like that think when you have to think give a particular time for that thinking and after the optimized solution i'm not saying a correct solution i'm saying optimized solution execute the solution without any kind of restrictions just execute the solution and that is what actually that kind of confidence you will get it through yoga so all these dwandva will be totally wiped off and you will find that you can do ekatatva abhyas also when your dwandva have gone your confidence itself is your god ready to work attitude whenever some work is given to you in academics you will find that it is little bit slower than the profession profession is like a bullet train in academics actually academics has lot of things to do but we may not do it because of the approach we have the liberty not to do we have in profession you don't have liberty in profession you have to do it you have to give the results otherwise your career is at stake ghar jao boss nahi chahiye dusra aadmi khada hai karna hai baat karo profession is like that believe me inside it is like that however polished and sweet the words will be but the profession has this particularly a key inside it and at that point of time when this particular happens at that point of time you have to have a smile on your face you have to have a ready to work attitude you have to have a patience and this patience is given by yoga so for example if you have habit of cleaning yourself every day of neti you will find always enthusiastic you have a habit of eating a mitahar it is said that one uh, half of your capacity you should eat one fourth should be filled with water and one fourth should be filled with air the principle is same as that of mixer we we learned on unit operations uh, i think badger or bencher we use and uh, unit operations we use uh, this uh, chemical engineering textbooks so the, what is the can we fill the mixer fully with the powders and uh, all ingredients no we cannot we have to keep a space when we do the mixer we do the baffling at that point of time there should be a space similarly our tummy our stomach should have space to churn our food out and this control is is by yoga nowadays the tendency of people 
is to do exceptional things okay i have seen 20 million views 25 million views somebody who is jumping from say 10th floor and going in directly into the well or directly into a river and it's a 5000 feet 500 feet like that the point here is these kind of thing they should be discouraged because that point of time something whatever we got as a body can get thrown away that's not correct and that is it is, it is said that sadu dirgha kale nairantaryam hamesha always you do small small practice abhyasena sadhayet with lots small small practice and with baby steps it can be done not like you jump from some floor and then take a picture and that you get a 20 million but your body and soul are different by god that is not accepted and that should not be encouraged unfortunately this is encouraged outside india this is encouraged nowadays to do kids they want that within a day i should be a billionaire that is what is the trend is my career should be within a day no within a day only destruction can occur friends to build a body to build a soul and perfect mind you need years together okay if i say a delta you have to accumulate delta there are two work in our life every day one work is a vital work important work vital work is like vital work means you have to go to toilet you have to go to toilet you cannot have alternative you have to clean your teeth you have to clean your teeth otherwise it will be smelling but important work second is that you can have a delta of it every day and as a result of it one day that delta accumulates to very high or really a big b you will get the benefit of it and these are like our exams you cannot appear for exam a day you join the college right if i say appear for the medicinal chemistry exam you will say boss i have to read 4a wilson giswold no 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 i cannot appear in a day you have to have a delta effect additional effect in that right so finally i would like to say that vadane prasannata see ultimately this life we have to live profession we should have only for the sake of our wellness our happiness so that is brought by yoga so career academics as well as the body and soul mind and brain all these th six things are together with yoga i am not able to uh, get conduct any yoga today but definitely you can reach out to the channels there are many channels i have also put some of the yoga channel some of the asanas and all the ashtanga yoga there you can visit that let's go to a question Thank you for patient listening. I don't know how much time I have taken. I think much more than what was actually required. So, but we can go for questions and let me know what are the questions you have. Yeah. So Thank first, you, sir. Can, <laughs> there are lots of. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I will go through the questions. Uh, yeah. So, so for one question that what is a uh, yoke for depression? Uh, okay. First of all, the depression uh, is actually a state of mind where things are not go going according to our imagination or expectation. Something which we expected not occurred. First of all, this particular dharana itself is wrong. 
nothing occur with our imagination or our expectation in life first of all understand this yog very simple every day surya namaskar sun salutation at least 12 every day now you will say i cannot do sun salutation what should i do should i uh, i want to do it with accuracy no accuracy yatha shakti nirantaram yatha shakti nirantaram try try sun salutation if you are challenges connect yoga teacher if you are challenges connect your doctor physiotherapist family doctor but start with sun salutation don't go for meditation or dhyan in case of depression so please go for sun salutation and all those asanas which provide blood to our brain our upper part of the body so in that case uthit padasan is there then viparit karani is there sarvangasan is there okay halasan is there these kind of asana they very easily you will come out of the depression very easily but you should be consistent never forget to take bath two times a day you very good one question is there attention uh, deficit disorder like adhd yeah this is very specialized question uh, uh, of course uh, adhd in case of that if, uh, it depends on the extent to which the adhd is there basically a person who is suffering from adhd has much more iq than expected in case of adhd so you cannot be fool this person you have to be with this person do it along with that person all yoga and i'm sure it is a it is it's a variation basically in personality though it is considered in a psychological disease it is not a disease actually it is a very simple variation many people they become super intelligent even after adhd and because their iq is very high better to try to be parallel with this person try to do yoga along with this people parallel every day yoga they have lot of anxiety they have lot of distortion from the attention this distortion you can actually keep it to a concentration bring it to the concentration by very simple techniques of tratak simple trick technique tell them to pay attention to breath try to explain them mulband if possible try to have a daily uh, work and play with them kids and you will find that it is very easy to deal with this more and more you do yoga if the person gets a habit of yoga or like likes the yoga the person will very easily get rid of a percentage at least some percentage out of this variation so that was another question so patience another question is on patience from pratiksha yeah she is asking what should be the diet for gaining weight and to build up the appetite so this is reverse of weight loss yeah it's a reverse of very very important thing is very good question rather uh, see uh, never never pay attention to your weight pay attention to five five different things which i am i am telling you first thing is your strength whether you have strength enough strength to do normal all daily routine work yes second immunity very important if you are getting a sneezing here after getting coughing if you are getting a ache every day then it's a problem third is your flexibility if your body is flexible there is no need to go for any weight gain or weight loss body should be flexible so strength immunity flexibility one more important thing is vital capacity so if 
you can breathe in heavily and breathe out your vital capacity in is in is in normal range or above that you are done and finally if you have every time positive thinking these are the five techniques uh, five parameters on which you should actually measure yourself not the other one of course out of this something is wrong and that's why the weight is less i'm sure we have one person in our pharmacy during uh, our time the person is currently uh, 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 he's a he's a director in one of the r&d everybody knows him so i will not take his name but he was very thin in third year and final year this person during uh, our gathering he actually started a complete complete contribution to all the task of gathering including lifting chairs tables and i have seen him that he is the thinnest person of our class okay everybody knows him he is r and d director now okay so the person becomes very good health after 2 years because he has contributed to all household all gathering activities right and he is considered for me he was a role model because this person was the thinnest person where we could not see where he tug in his shirt so at that point of time he started with the normal activities every activity he has performed and i found that he has improved his weight very heavily and that too healthily it is see don't go on the suggestions or the tablets which are, which generally people they recommend don't go on any unnatural thing we all know we all read goodman and gilman right the the description of our uh, medicine and mechanism of action is there and there will be two pages of side effects and there will be two pages of its hyper effects all these are there so do not though we are pharmacists we should not take medicine by ourselves number 1 and we should take a consent of doctor that is a number 2 okay uh, of course we can challenge and number 3 try to develop your own good habits of eating and circadian cycle sleeping proper sleep is very important okay and don't go for any boss brp ke wait padta hai karke wait padta hai no don't do go for that try to increase your capacity of body your craving will be increase yog actually it monitors it not only decreases your craving it also increases your craving depending on what is your current capacity requirement according to age and that is the beauty of yog Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Audible sir, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there is another, there is another text from the B Pharm first year student. That is Pratiksha Devkate is uh, concerned about today's generation who are uh, aggressive and they have the uncontrolled thinking. So uh, she actually want to uh, want a suggestion whether there is some yoga for peace of mind in any situation. Yeah. So. see that the thinking is actually controlled by air in our body mind and this mind is controlled by air so it is like this thinking is controlled by mind can you please go on mute i think there are a lot of sounds thank you thank you so much so thinking is controlled by our mind and mind is controlled by air why why air because breathing is the only thing which is common to parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system it is automated when we are sleeping it is explicit when we take it both so only door to control our think is is air so if you start a pranayam you will find that the thinking will definitely appear in ma- your mind like say for example i have seen so many people 
they will whenever they are sleeping they will say oh ceiling fan will actually fall there are so many people are there like that now this thinking will never get true because ceiling fan has so uh, uh, tight bolts and nuts that it cannot fall so easily the structure is like that but there are so many people which will have who will have this kind of thinking this thinking to stop it this is a ad hoc thinking either you have to do or perform your asanas can you think the same thing when you are actually tired no let's do a very small experiment let's do small experiment please everybody come on video and let's do experiment my request please quickly so that we have very less time please come on video let's do this okay please please come on video let's do this experiment okay so let's breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out now close your eyes start it please do this experiment take a deep breath now breathe out open your eyes now tell me one answer in last 15 seconds what is the ad hoc or wrong thing or right thing or useless thing you have thought i am sure you would have not thought anything except breathing except breathing okay so very important point when you breath your breath is controlled breath is controlled by several asana as well as pranayam you will find that if you are also controlling sugar that is also very important because sugar otherwise will generate lot of thoughts but which are not of any use to us okay if you are keeping your digestion proper if you are daily doing yoga this will be definitely wipe off one more approach which is a psychological approach let them come it is our choice which thought we should pick up right so our choice we should think of whether to respond to that thought is our choice it's not others choice so let them come okay some people think oh i go outside there will be raining let them come if i go outside probably at the same time somebody will drop a uh, iron ball from top it will fall on my head let it appear let it appear but to choose it it's our choice so to be happy or not to be happy with positive thinking is our choice yeah next question please Yeah, please I would uh, like to ask one question. Uh, like uh, nowadays, Dikshit uh, diet. Yeah. Eating uh, uh, only twice a day for reducing weight. I mean, what in your opinion uh, is this recommended? <laughs> yeah, I, I, 
I can I cannot uh, comment on this uh, because this will be very uh, uh, personal comment. So any Dixit, I would like to refrain from a comment. <laughs> Uh, but I, I say uh, only one simple thing that uh, uh, the the physiology is very complex out of it. Uh, but of course, every person has its own idiosyncratic way of getting healthy. Okay, so uh, the rules are according to body, right? That is the way. There are general rules are there. There is a insulin secretion is there. There is a pattern of insulin secretion is there. Habit to the body, or incorporation of high glycemic index carb inside the body, which will actually stimulate the insulin secretion. But uh, if you go for commandos, what diet they follow? Do they get diet when they are outside on the battlefield? If I, we ask this question. Whenever you have any challenges in life, you you just imagine a person who is actually saving us at the borders of India or your country borders. Just think of that, and you will get the answer of it. So, so I think that's 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 not about the diet, but this is a generic rule which I would like to put it. That's it. Yeah, I think there are no queries, so we should uh, control them, and we should uh, definitely uh, will meet again. If any query is there, you can send me these queries, uh, and I will definitely answer it. All right. So thank you so much for giving me a chance for discussing this. Uh, from many years, probably this was my um, my will. that i should uh, contribute from the yoga side to the students uh, so even if a uh, one line is being used by anybody i'll be very much happy thank you thank you so much uh, for this for attending this thanks a lot uh, thank you sir on behalf of uh, arogya parigyan club of priyadarshini jl college of pharmacy nagpur i Uh, dr mrs batley would take this opportunity to propose the vote of thanks so a uh, very big thanks it was a pleasure it was pride it was a privilege uh, to have raghavendra sir for this excellent session on uh, yoga for excelling in professional career and uh, there is no better example than the illustrious speaker himself how yoga can uh, can be can take us to the heights in our professional ca- career and since we being pharmacists since we are understanding physiology since we are understanding biochemistry we are in a very good position of how yoga is beneficial to our mind to our body to our soul and uh, how it will uh, uh, you know how it will uh, be very helpful for us in reaching all the avenues of a profession uh, so thank you sir for uh, dealing you, sir. in this particular topic in a very uh, in a very simple and in a very interesting uh, manner the beautiful illustrations of how different uh, asanas can be helpful to us so uh, uh, let me uh, declare that uh, sir is my classmate uh, i have uh, read his uh, book attitude i regularly follow his channel uh, and i recommend uh, this to all the students uh, to do so thank you i would also like to thank uh, chaplain sir for in-
encouraging us for in keeping this session. Uh, thanks to all my colleagues, especially uh, Gurnani ma'am, Deshpande ma'am, Sapan sir and all the other faculty members for arranging this particular session. Uh, thanks to all the club members, Saili, Pratiksha, Kavita, all the volunteers who have helped in keeping this session. To all the students who are here in this virtual platform, uh, I would uh, lastly I would like to recommend that uh, though we are uh, like we are in different cities, so we have uh, initiated this session uh, virtually. So uh, in some suitable time, we should have uh, what I would say is a face-to-face -face session. Which will be, uh, which will be more. Uh, I mean to say, uh, like it will uh, benefit all the students sure. of the institute. Uh, so right now it was virtual, but in future uh, let's also have a uh, physical session. Sure. So I would look forward to this from your side, sir. Sure, sure. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Bakle. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Deshpande. And thank you everybody. Thanks a lot uh, for patient listening. Otherwise, uh, the jumping from biochemistry to yoga and yoga to profession, profession to career, it's, 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 a, it's a roller coaster ride for all of us. But uh, thanks for all your patience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.